This right here is a North Carolina sexual assault evidence collection kit. It is hands down the best piece of evidence a prosecutor can ask for in a case. Yeah, but for years we've investigated about major backlogs in running the DNA testing. The number of untested kits is slowly getting lower. But there's another challenge now, a shortage of certified nurses to perform that evidence collection. Two wants to know Ben Briscoe found the shortage means more rapists are still on the street. In Greensboro, we're fortunate. A sexual assault survivor can go to Cone Health ER and see a sexual assault nurse examiner 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But in some of the smaller cities around our area and the nation, that's not the case, meaning after going through the trauma of the assault, those folks might have to go to the ER and wait for up to 12 hours until a doctor can see them to complete the exam. So they're not a heart patient or a trauma patient, so they'd have to wait until a physician could get to them. The North Carolina Coalition Against Sexual Assault says all that time sitting means they're less likely to stay and go through the process. Absolutely. No rape kit, no conviction often, according to prosecutors, and it's becoming more and more of a problem. We just can't say how big of a problem yet because there's no database of registered sane nurses. How many are actually practicing in their local communities? We don't have a count of that at all. That's why they're picking up the phones. Now through March, the coalition will be contacting each hospital across the state to build their own list of sane nurses. We don't know what happens to many of the survivors that visit a hospital and are unable to obtain a safe kit. At the same time, Congress is also investigating the issue with the hearing. Shockingly, if a, though, if a victim shows up to a hospital after an assault today, it's far from guaranteed that she would be able to get a sexual assault examination, even if she knows to ask for one. The big takeaway from the hearing, an incredibly low retention rate for sexual assault nurses. Over two years, government auditors tracked a group of 540. Only 42 were still practicing at the end. 8%. Nurses also turn over and move often. It also has a lot of upward mobility. So while they may be a practicing emergency department nurse, they may get a promotion to another floor. And so then they are no longer practicing. They also leave to go work in private at doctor's offices. Now everyone I talked with said we have to finish finding out how big the shortage is before we can start looking for solid solutions. You can bet two wants to know we'll stay on top of this problem for you. Make sure you to follow my Facebook page so you don't miss any of our updates in this investigation. Just search Ben Briscoe.